Hey, welcome back to Base Squared. Well, I'm going to show you a quick hack for using GoodNotes 5 in the classroom. Now, I know I'm using GoodNotes 5 when I'm presenting this onto the whiteboard or onto the projector. But what I want to do is the old GoodNotes 5 had a freeze feature. Now, I'm going to show you what features we have available here for presenting. Um, and I'm going to show you what the hack is in order to like freeze and use a... Let me just show you the hack, yeah? Okay, so in using uh, GoodNotes, there's a couple of features here for presenting. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what these are. If I click on here, by the way, I am mirroring to a projector, so you can see the projector there. When you're mirroring to a projector, you'll see a couple of features here. You'll see mirror the entire screen. So if I mirror the entire screen, you see how this changes, yeah? So I'm gonna press on mirror the entire screen and then check how that changes. Now I've got all of the layout, all the layout icons, the features, are there so that's good for like if you're showing a tutorial and you want to sh show them you know that you're pressing on the pen or the lasso tool or whatever it'll all show up there so all of the menus will show up so if i go ahead and click on um the thumbnails all of the pages show up and you can see all the thumbnails or the outline view now that's all cool i usually do present mirror present a page and then that takes away all of the banners and the toolbars it's all gone now, one more thing is, if I want to zoom in here and I want to work on, let's say, this particular question, but I don't want the screen to zoom in like that, so I don't want it to be affected by the zoom level, what I can do is I can go to the presenter button again and I can do mirror full page. So if I would do mirror full page, that would always have the full page, no matter my zoom level here doesn't affect the full page. So you can see here, but that's all well and good. So in the old GoodNotes, I think GoodNotes 4, yeah, it was GoodNotes 4, there was a freeze. So when you would click on this button here, you would have freeze, and that would allow you to manipulate or carry on working on the workbook that you've got open. So I could like, I could freeze it here. Okay, I could freeze it there. Like that, I could freeze it, and then they would see that it's frozen. They would see only that question and it's frozen. And then oh, what I could do here, as a presenter, I could go down and keep working on a particular question and make sure you know I'm adding more resources to the page. They won't see that interference. Now, here's the hack. This is how you need to do it on GoodNotes 5. What to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up the split view. Okay, I'm going to multitask here. I'm going to click on the center one. And then I'm going to open up GoodNotes again which page do I want to open? So I'm just going to go and open the exact same one. So this one here is unit one, lesson one, number sequences. I'm going to go ahead and find where that is. Obviously, I know where it is because I've, I've made it. Unit one, lesson one, number sequences is this one here. So what I've done is I've opened up the same document. Now, on the presenter, I'm only presenting one of these, yeah? So check this out. I'm going to find the same page. So this is geometric sequence. I'm going to go ahead and find the same page here. Well, this is this is the same page. Okay, these two are the same pages. If I write anything here, it is going to affect this one. But I can technically just zoom into this, present what I want to present on the board, and then go into my second page here, or my second workbook, which is the same workbook, and continue to update and manipulate, uh, add resources. So as I scroll onto this page, so as I scroll, it reveals the work that I've been working on. Now, as I'm doing this then, as I'm doing this, let's just say, you know, I want students to work on question four. So that's what I'm gonna present there, question four. Okay, I can even do it, um, like I can zoom it as much as I wanna zoom it, like that. And so as I've split screened this now, I can continue to scroll on this page and do whatever I need to do here. Now, let me show you something, yeah? Just to prove the fact that these are the same documents, it will affect. So if I write here something, look, if I scribble here, it will come up onto this one. And that would obviously translate onto the board. So I'll do that again. If I write here again, you can see it comes here. Now there is a bit of latency because I'm working on a workbook that's open on a separate window. Yeah, I'm not, if I write here directly, you can see that, that works straight away, yeah? So I can zoom into this, move this to the side, and I can continue to scroll down 
on this document and continue to work on this document and it will reflect all the changes that I make here, it will reflect onto this one. Now the benefit of me doing this is the fact that I've locked the view here. Now, the question is then, why don't you just press freeze on your remote? Why not just freeze a projector? Well, I don't want to freeze the projector because I might actually be showing a live demo on something on this document or making incremental updates while I'm still trying to work on the document. Yeah, that's important because if I want to go around and add a new picture here or take a screenshot of someone else's work. So let's just say this is a child's work. If you look up there, I'm still presenting that page and I've added new documents or new resources to the same workbook. If you understand you're a power user for good notes, that would make sense to you. If you're not, maybe you want to watch the video again. Of course, it's, it's a special case scenario where you're using this and updating it at the same time. Oh, that was helpful. I'm going to make a video on 10 tips for using good notes in a classroom. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to include them in the next tutorial. Check out this video for tips and tricks on using good notes in a classroom and I'll catch you in the next one.